Hey y'all, Tom, ND3N here, and thanks for dropping into my ham shack for a ham shack chat. This time we're going to look at my latest acquisition, the ICOM IC7760, and the things that you'll need to do to get this rig up and running right out of the box. Out of the box thinking. First, we'll look at downloads. Then we'll take a look at both required and nice to have accessories. Finally, we'll go through the processes required to install your drivers and update the firmware. As always, any questions, concerns, observations, or just general remarks can and should be left in the comments section below. Here, I'll make a few general remarks. There are a couple of things you can do while you are waiting for your IC7760 to show up at your doorstep. Now, I'll preface this by saying that all the links that I'm going to show you are going to be down in the video description below. We start off at the ICOM America page, and this is the main page for ICOM America. And we want to come over here to Products, Amateur, and here are your amateur radio products. So we want to go to Base Stations. Now scroll down here to the bottom where we'll find the IC7760. We'll click on that and you'll see that we've got a support and download here. So we're going to go to that and you'll notice you've got a limited supply of things. So here you could download the basic manual, the advanced manual, and if you want the basic French manual and the basic Spanish manual. And by the way, you'll receive paper copies of the English, French, and Spanish manuals. But there's no access to any drivers or other software. So for that, we're going to go to a one-stop shop. Guilt-free, one-stop shop. We're going to go to the ICOM Japan page. So we're going to float over products and select amateur, go to all mode, and right up here on top is the IC7760 and support and download. We'll scroll down and here we have our basic manual in English, our advanced manual in English, French and Spanish, and additionally you have German and Italian available here. So let's start by downloading these. They're PDFs and I'm going to click on the basic manual Come down here, agree with the statement, and download it. If I come up here to my downloads page, and I'm going to save it. So we now have our basic manual downloaded. We'll just go back. It's going to close that tab, go back, and we're going to download our advanced manual. Click on that, agree, download. And we're going to do one more download, and this will put it in our downloads folder. Save it, and that's done. Now we'll go ahead and close that tab, come back here, and go back. And we want to come down here to the bottom to our firmware. We want our USB driver. Click on this, come down, click on this, and go download. That is now a zip file in our download folder. We'll close that. Right below our driver is the firmware update. This firmware update, if we come up here to the top of the news, the firmware was updated on February 25th, 2025. The previous version was 1.01. This is version 1.1. And again, there's our last update. If you're watching this further down the road, this could be a later version. You want to get the latest version that they've got. We're going to click on IC7760 in the firmware row. Let's take a look at what the information is. You can open this up and we're going to agree and download that. And it's going to go through everything there. And let's stick that in our download folder. And you can review this on your own later. I, I was a little worried, but I already have books and homework. But these are all the changes that they made. Clear that. We're going to click on back to download list. And up here, it tells you how you're going to do it. But at the end of this video, I'm going to show you how to update your firmware. So we're going to come down here. I'm going to click this. I'm going to click download. And there it is. Here are the files that I've downloaded. You've got two compressed files. And you're going to need to extract those. But we'll go through that at the end of the video. 
So you got your firmware, you got your driver, you got your the update info, you've got the advanced owner's manual and the basic owner's manual in English. Close that and we'll move on. So those are the things that you'll need to download to bring your IC7760 to life. Of course, if you don't already have them, you'll probably want to download a few operating programs such as WSJTX, FL Digi, and so on. You'll also want a logging program. I use the N3FJP Amateur Contact Log, but there are plenty of them out there to choose from. Some cost, some free, some are easy to use, and some are difficult. If you're enjoying this so far, please take a moment to pop that thumbs up icon and give me a like. I like you. You like me? There are a few extra accessory items that you want to pick up and uh, we'll start with a SanDisk Ultra SDHC card with a maximum value of 32 gigabytes. And as a side note, if you follow that link down in the video description, Amazon will give me a small finder's fee. It does not change the cost to you at all. Now we've already downloaded the firmware and it's sitting on your computer and we'll go through the firmware install uh, at the end of this video. Once you've done the firmware upgrade, you can use up to a 256 gigabyte SDXC card. Next, you're going to need some coax. And if you go to the ham radio outlet store and do a search for RG213, it's going to bring you up all of these. So you can buy it from a thousand foot on down. I like to use the pre terminated ones. So this one's 250, this one's 150, and so on. And coming down here, you'll see that other manufacturers make it. Uh, this is a 25 foot length. And if you come way down here, you'll see Ham Radio Outlet actually has their own stuff. So you can go, you can get two foot lengths and so on. This is commonly called a printer cable. This side plugs into the back of your control head and this side plugs into your computer. You also want an ethernet cable and it's just standard ethernet cable and you'll run that from your network over to the back of your RF deck. If you want to use a CIV, Amazon has a number of these. Do you know how to use that? And I use them on my ICOM rigs, which currently consist of the 7300 and the 7760. And you, what you want to do is you'll take this part right over here, and that goes into the back of your RF deck, and this side goes to your computer. This is pretty much plug and play. And if we scroll down to our accessories, you see microphones. Right here is the SM50, then the SM30, and it's also, it has a hand mic. The IC7760 does not come with a microphone, so if you plan on doing voice mode, you're going to need to add a microphone. I purchased this one when I bought the radio. Now, I like to use a headset when I'm working. I get most of my headsets from Heil Ham Radio, and there will be a link down in the video description. Come here to All Products and click on Headsets. They have a bunch of them that are available here. The one I picked up was this Pro Set right here. And you need to come over here and choose your element. So I'm going to do that, and I'm going to say it's an IC electric element. ICOM radios are designed to use electric mics. Most of the other manufacturers will use a dynamic microphone. Once you do this and you add it to your cart, we'll come back up here and come down here to the adapters. And adapters are color-coded. Uh, for instance, this yellow one is for Yesu. This red one's for Kenwood. And we're going to find a blue one. I'm trying to find the blue one that you want to get. And this is the adapter cable that you want to get. It's an 81IC. Going back to our accessories on Ham Radio Outlet, I like having a front-facing speaker. Uh, my hearing isn't all that good. The normal speakers are in the control head on the top. They're perfectly acceptable. However, having an external speaker is very handy, so I picked that one up. Another thing that I recommend getting is an external keyer. 
The rig itself has a fantastic internal keyer. If you want to control your keying through a computer program, many logging programs allow it, HRD, FL Digi, all of them will key your rig for you. And I recommend using this one, the WinKeyer USB assembled and tested. The link to this will be down in the video description. If you want to expand your display, you can add a monitor. This is not an HDMI, it is a DVI. Amazon has a number of really good video monitors. They're not terribly expensive. You do want to make sure that is is a DVI. See up here it says HDMI and VGA ports, but if I scroll here, where is it? You can see right here it has a DVI port. So you want to go from the back of the rig to the DVI port. So you can come to the ham radio outlet, you can do a search for specific antennas, and if you want to compare prices, I would recommend that you use uh, DX Engineering is a good source. I'll put a link to DX Engineering down in the video description. One thing that I forgot to mention is a DVI cable, like this one. This is one that I use as a jumper, but you'll need a DVI cable between your control head and your monitor. Not too long, not too short. Get the link that you need to reach between those two points. Now you all know that I try to add a unique spin to my videos, so please help me spread the word about these videos, and this one in particular, by sharing It's not really a secret. them with your friends and cohorts in the ham radio community, especially on social media. So referring back to earlier, these are the two files that we downloaded. This is the firmware update. This is your serial port driver. You'll notice that it is a zipped file or compressed file. What we want to do is start by clicking on this and this extract all will show up. So we're going to click on that. I will extract it out to the downloads folder. You can browse your folders and put it someplace else if you want. We're going to extract it. I'm going to go ahead and close this pop-up and you'll see that we are now here. This is the unzipped folder. We're going to double click it, double click it again, and you have two setup files. Now this is for the Windows systems. I use Windows 11, so that's setup 64. Don't worry about it because if you pick the wrong one, it's going to error on you and give you a chance to back out and pick the other one. Now before we click on this, it is absolutely vital that you remove power from your control head by just shutting it off and just to be sure unplug the USB connection and the back of the control head that's the setup I have and I'm going to run this I'm going to say yes I want it to go in English it's preparing the installation package I'm going to go next and we're going to install this and it has been successfully installed we're going to finish this and I'm going to Go ahead and close this page. I'm going to go to my device manager. These are my Yaesu rigs. This COM24 up here is actually my CIV connection. And a few moments later, I've reinstalled the USB port, and you'll see I have two ports here. And I've got my port settings to 9600 for port A, and port B is going to be what is down here under my Yesu rigs called the enhanced port. This is what you're going to use to connect everything. Now strictly as a tip, you can do this, you don't have to do it. I found it very useful since I have multiple rigs running and if I want to switch around quickly, instead of having to go in here and do my research and refresh my mind on how everything is set up, once you do have everything set up, make yourself a label like this one, where you can see that I've got my IC7760 identified as the rig. I've got COM17 as my active port. That's what you would put into the settings on WSJTX. I've got my... CIV port identified as COM24, and I've also listed the baud rates on both of them. And finally, at the end, I have USB, all in uppercase, then 
audio with a capital A and lowercase on the rest, and codec all uppercase. This is the naming convention for your audio codec that ICOM uses. So now I'm going to show you the process. I won't be able to show you the completed process, but I'll explain that as we go through the process. We want to open up our files. Now we're going to come up here. I'm going to right click on downloads and open it in a new window and we'll move that right up here. I want to open up our 7760 underscore 110 file folder and here's our folder. On the SD card, uh, let me back it up here. We've got this single folder and we're going to double click that to open it. These folders were installed as part of the format process that we just did. I'm going to drag this from our downloads into this folder. So now we've got this file up here copied down to this location. Now I'm going to right click on my SD card. I'm going to eject it. So you see this is now safe to remove from the computer and I will do that. And we'll go ahead and close this and let's go back to our IC7760. We're going to install the SD card. You see the blue light go solid and we're ready to go. I'm going to go to menu, settings, SD card, and we're going to move up and we've got the firmware update. So we got this. Firmware updating has risk and da 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 da. It's just a war little warning. Do you agree to all of the above? Yes. Depending on the versions, the settings may be lost. Do you want to make a backup on the SD card first? Sure. When there's an update to the software, I will repeat this and show you the full process. But for now, I'm not going to backdate my software just to show you guys what's going on. But at this point, you can click yes and it'll go through the process and it takes about two minutes and you'll get an indicator on the screen showing you where you're at. However, right now I'm going to say no and get out of this and get out of that and now we're ready to move on. I hope you've enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed putting it all together for you. I also hope that you've learned a few things along the way. Please remember to comment, like, and share this video. Also, please consider subscribing to this channel. I certainly do appreciate it. 73 until the next Hey Y'all! This has been a Hamshack chat about the first steps needed with your IC7760. I'm Tom, ND3N, just like it says on the hat, and I am out. Well, that was fun. <laughs>